Hello! In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of spring, summer, maternity outfit ideas that you can easily recreate at home yourself. So yes, I'm pregnant, so these outfits are maternity, but they're not too maternity specific. So you can still easily take this inspiration and definitely use these outfit ideas for yourself, even if you're not pregnant. So the staples that I'm gonna be working with today are all from Pink Blush Maternity. And then I've just styled them in different ways with things that I already had at home. So first for a quick little micro unboxing, here's what Pink Blush Maternity sent me. So first we have this beautiful neutral snakeskin skirt. It's so soft. Like I wish I could explain to you guys how soft this skirt is. So this skirt I got in a medium. It's very nice and fitted. There's a cute slit at the side right here. And I actually like how it's like right on the side, not in front because it really perfectly sort of accentuates your body. And you're gonna see uh, in some of the outfits in a second. I find that a lot of side slit items are like just in front or like not quite on the side, but this is like perfectly placed and it really makes a big difference. It's super high-waisted. So it goes right over your bump. And then it is a really nice length uh, below as well goes just under your knee. So it's extremely flattering and uh, very nice. And I love how it's a more of a warm beige neutral snakeskin as opposed to sort of your typical like gray, cool, gray, white, green sort of snakeskin that you usually see. So this was a very unique, interesting piece. And I already know I'm gonna wear this like a hundred thousand times. The other great thing about this piece as well is that there's actually no designated spot for your bump because a lot of maternity clothes will have sort of like a circle or more of an accentuation where your bump is supposed to go, which is is great but then the only thing is is that when you're not pregnant anymore you can't wear them because it kind of looks awkward whereas this is stretchy comfortable enough and big enough to go over your bump but it's very very strategic in the sense that like I can almost guarantee that I'm gonna be able to wear this when I'm not pregnant afterwards because it's just like a stretchy comfortable skirt so that's really exciting and definitely smart on their part because it's like a double whammy like obviously get things for when you're pregnant but then because of just sort of the style and the way that it is I'll probably be able to wear it again. Next up, we have this beautiful tangerine dress. It's just extremely simple, a little bit thicker than spaghetti straps. So it's like perfect that um, a bra strap won't show through this. It's also wide enough. So you know, like these dresses a lot, I find that this part is bigger and the straps almost sit closer, like almost like a racer back sort of thing. And then you're like stuck with bras and stuff like that. And if I wasn't pregnant, I wouldn't care as much, but because I am pregnant, my boobs have grown significantly, I must wear a bra. So that was a really nice thing about this dress that I liked a lot. The fact that it sat nicely, it didn't make you feel like you were spilling out of everything at the top. My bra fit no problem underneath and the straps didn't show at all. What I love too is like, um, I guess the ribbing, I don't, I forget what you call this. I guess ribbing, yeah. It makes it look really high end and expensive. And it's also great because this is an item that can be dressed up or dressed down. I find without this sort of texture, it's more of a casual dress. It's harder to dress it up. But the second you have this sort of detail here, it's really, really easy to make it look very high end. With that being said, it can also be dressed down too, which is great. The color was just perfect. Tangerine is so beautiful for spring and summer, especially when you have a little bit of a tan. It's fitted, but it's not so tight where you can't breathe because I have some other maternity leggings and things that are really nice and fitted and they're like sort of support leggings, but they're sometimes they are so tight. I, I actually can't breathe and it's really uncomfortable. Whereas this is fitted, it like kind of, you know, holds everything in, but you can totally breathe. I almost felt relief putting it on. I'm really excited to definitely wear this a lot this year. And next up, I did not even realize this at the time until I tried everything on, but I have this exact same dress, just in a beautiful beige or nude or tan, whatever you want to call it. This is such a beautiful dress. So again, it's the exact same one as the tangerine. Oh, and these are a size small, I should also mention to you guys, which was a risk for me because I am like not even a small in dresses when I'm not pregnant. I'm usually a medium. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is not only going to be way too tight, but it's going to be so uncomfortable. I'm going to be spilling out of it. And I actually wasn't. So I'm pretty happy with the small. And I think a medium would have almost been too big. So I'm happy that I ended up doing that. And it was kind of an accident. So it really worked out well. So same exact feedback as the tangerine dress. Just the color is so beautiful and warm and uh, really nice for spring and summer. It can go great with denim. It can go really well with whites. This color really goes with everything, obviously, because it's a neutral. But I think this is like one of my favorite colors 
colors to start introducing into spring and summer outfits just because it's so again high-end and sort of expensive looking but can also be used for casual outfits as well perfect for like white sneakers check out this like the bottom so this is sort of how it like clings to you at the bottom it's a really nice finish it either kind of can go like right around your knees and like make you nice and hourglassy or you can pull it up higher and like that looks good too so overall just like the perfect pieces and honestly i think this is going to be something that i wear way after i'm pregnant and like how can you go wrong with just like a nude ribbed dress like i just think it's the perfect thing so here are all the outfits i was able to put together with these pink blush maternity staples Just watching all of those outfits, I was even thinking of more things that I could have done. These pieces are such a staple. They're so easy to style. So I really think outfits with these staple pieces are sort of endless. And if there's any advice I could give to anyone that is pregnant is like go with more simple basics like I used in this video. And then the accessories and jackets and shoes and stuff that you can mix with literally are endless. And then you just have a really wide and versatile wardrobe. So comfort and simplicity, I think, are just winners when you have this huge baby bump in front of you and are trying to still look cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see me trying out new things twice a week, please subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on Instagram for more.